Fox got a technical trainer at thetechfeeder.com. It's Thursday, December the 8th. <clears throat> These are the charts of the day. And every Thursday, of course, we do swing trades over the last few weeks. And that's what we're going to go over now. Let's do it um, and take a look at some of the better ones. Well, obviously, the ones that are still in play, I should say. Uh, AEHR has been in play, and it has been for the next few, last few months, moving nicely from the, uh, I think it's about the mid-teens where we put it out, and trade now in the mid-20s. My target now says 32.3. Maybe your target looking real good. Enough next is AOIT, which popped out and pulled back. Had a nice reversal today. Beautiful base breakout, pullback retest, and reversal. Should it get up above 1160? I'd be looking for about 13. Apps popped out, pulled back, and retested. It's forming some sort of platform. Really needed to hold 15, 15 and a quarter, but my targets now are 1920 and 24.5. AVDL continues to channel up after we put it out. Looking good. Um, and I think at this point, we're going to look for 11, 14, and 17 over the next few weeks and months. AXSM in a beautiful ascending bull wedge. I'm planning on a breakout shortly and a run into the 90 area for starters. BAND popped out of a wedge. We put a swing on it today. It looks pretty good to me. I think 28 and 33, 34 targets. BEAT popped and we put that out as a swing. All we need to do now is take out six and three quarters of your next target, and we might see eight or better. Seco still in a beautiful uptrend, popped out and pulled back. We put out a swing on it, but it looks to me like it's consolidated one more time for a run to the mid channel, 14 and a half area. EDU popped out today. We put a swing on it. I think it's coming out of a multi month consolidation, maybe headed for 39.40. EHTH popped. We put a swing on it. It ran up and then backed off. It's forming a wedge. The volume is low. The technicals look good. I'm looking for a pop across five and a half and get up to seven. EPOW, two days in a row back off the trend line and support. I think this is about to make a big move. I'm looking for a run to about six and then seven and three quarters, eight. It's a personal position. FCX broke out. We put a swing on it. It popped and pulled back and wedged. Broke out again. Now it's wedging again. It looks to me like 43 is your target. FDMT exploded and flagged for three weeks. Today it made a move that I thought would pop it out. It did, but it backed off. Let's see if it Extends target is 30 and 35. GDS also popped out and pulled back. Now on a swing today, jumping 294, 17%. Excellent. Next target, 24 and 28. Geo popped we, out. We made a, a, we put a swing on it and then ran up for a few days for about three points. And now it's pulled back on a beautiful flag. Next target is 13 and a half, 14 three quarters. IMMD has been a month, uh, several month long swing now. It's acting great. I like the way it's cha channeling up and consolidating. Targets are 40, 44. Lee Auto in the Chinese automotive sector has been great. When it popped out, we put a swing on it. It's been moving up nicely. Today it popped another dollar 96. Now we're nearing the first target in the 27 range, secondary target 32. MGNX forming a wedge and today popped off, off the trend line, uh, jumping 47 cents or 8%. Your next target is seven and three quarters and nine. Nutanix popped with an engulfing bullish bar today out of a four-day wedge. Now looking for moving to the 32-3 range. Beyond that, high 30s. OM popped and broke out. We put a swing on it. It backed off to retest. Now stair-stepping higher uh, above resistance. Next target, 26. Puma, beautiful base pattern, inverse head and shoulders. Breakout, run, wedge today, a nice pop um, of about 12.5%. And if it gets through this $5 range, I'm looking for Five and three quarters and six and three quarters. Perion backed off for a couple of days, maybe retesting, but I like the overall structure. The trend now says 28 and three quarters and 32 are your targets going forward. Impinge backing off a little bit here, but it broke out. We put a swing on it because I do believe you're going to see 150 and 170 on this one. Purple, after breaking the base and pulling back and testing, it popped again and retested. But overall, it's got a bullish wedge forming. You break out of this level, six and eight are targets. RVPH continues to press, impress, popped out, falling wedge, ran again, flag, new target, nine and a half. SCO, I believe oil may be coming down. The SCO is building a big base, <coughs> which I think might be for a big move. I'm looking for 32 and 37 for starters. SKYT popped and broke out. We put a swing on it, but it backed off and formed a wedge. So far, holding support. I need a breakout over 10 to get it going again. If so, targets 13 and 15. TBLA exploded, now forming a wedge. I like the look of it overall. That was the big breakaway gap. 
the target is three, three and three quarters, and five. TME break out of a big base pattern and just keeps running. Beautiful chart. Your target now, nine and a half. VRNA popped, broke out, and pulled back and retested. As long as it holds support, 11 and a half, I'm good. Targets are 14 and a half, 16, and 17 and a half. VRT, after breaking out of a base, is pulled back and it's consolidating. Um, after holding support and bouncing, it's bouncing one more time. Today, I'm whipping back and I'm looking for 16 and 19 as targets. And finally, XPEV broke out of a long downtrend along with the other Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers, ran up to the first target resistance area near 13. The pullback and a subsequent pop today of 85 cents or 8% tells me we're in a wedge pattern that's going to break out and tag 14 and three quarters, 15 in your next target. Let's look at the swing trades of the last few weeks. Good night, everybody.